right guys headed back out to the shop time to make more progress on iron man uh in a previous video man we got the transmission up and in the truck and we even put in a few bolts but the thing i need to do today is put this new um put this new transmission pan on here that i got um but it's always a headache trying to do that with the uh cross member on there so i'm gonna have to arrange something that's gonna hold that cross member up there man and uh, we just finna get in here and get to work y'all hang tight all right guys so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to tighten up the bell housing bolts on both sides uh we're going to take this cross member back off or just see if we can slide it out of the way so that i can get to the pan bolts right there and if i take it off i got a jack stand sitting right here to uh, let the back of the transmission lean back on it so we're gonna uh tighten down on those bolts up there first see if i can show y'all um yeah the bolts they well up there y'all might can't see them but anyway gonna tighten those bolts up and then we're gonna start on the other stuff so y'all hold tight all right guys so here's where we are in the process as you can see the trans is leaning down on this so I can get the pan off. So we're getting ready to uh, take the pan off. Bell housing bolts are in and tight. I will have to take one of them back a loose to uh, secure the uh, dipstick. But otherwise, all we got to do is swap these pans out, man. I'm going to go grab my new pan. And we're going to get them swapped out. So Y'all stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, quick check back in. We finna go up on the hill. Uh, we already up on the hill. And we finna start getting this pan, the old pan off. Shoot these few little bolts out of here. Man, I just felt like I'ma show y'all. What's on the inside of the transmission? It looks way better than it did um, before it went. And once we put the move on the hill, man, I'm gonna show y'all the pan. All right, man, so this is the inside of this pan, man. When I took this pan to him, you couldn't even see the bottom of the pan, man. It's just some dirt come off my hand, but man, that is, I was gonna throw this pan away. But uh, I'm going to probably have to hang on to it now, man, because it looks too good to throw it away. But we still going to swap it out for the new pan, man. So hold tight. Let me grab the new pan. and get it started. Showed y'all the pan in another video, but I'm going to show it to y'all one more time. Chrome, baby. And it set that transmission off. Got the new gasket to go with it. And some new bolts. So y'all hold tight. We're going to get it on. All right, man. I know y'all may can't hardly see me. But we're getting ready to sit the gasket out, sit the gasket onto the pan. Guys, I ain't one hundred percent sure. But this transmission pan look like it's worth another 50, 75, 100 horses, man. Now look at that sexy pan. Man, that followed by that Showtime paint. Jesus. Look at that. Man, look at this paint, man. Y'all don't see that chrome. Y'all just don't see it. Look at that, man. Anyway, man, we're going to get the cross member back up under here. And then we're going to... Uh, Finish this thing on up, man. We got to put the uh, bolts back in it up front for the uh, torque converter. And I think that's going to be about it, man. So, y'all hold tight. Let me get the cross member, throw it back in. 
and we'll figure out what's up next. Let me get y'all a quick update. Cross member is in and bolted in as y'all can see. Transmission is, the uh, mount is tightened up right there. Uh, I got that little vacuum thing hooked up. I got the speed thing hooked up right there. And y'all see the trans lines are still hanging right there. Uh, we got to mount the trans cooler over here. If y'all can see that, we're gonna mount it up under the truck, up under here. And then I'm gonna throw the drive shaft back in it. And uh, now we're gonna be ready to rock. So we're almost there, man. Y'all hold tight. Uh, we're gonna get the dry shaft ready to go back in. We gotta put the dipstick in, we gotta get fluid in it. Uh, but we do have everything, man. So y'all hold tight. Let me go grab some more stuff and we're gonna get back to work. All right, guys, dry shaft is out. I'm gonna try to clean it up. It's been on the back of the truck, got a little rust on it. Um, I'm gonna just try to clean that end up and then clean that end up and we gonna throw this thing in. I would paint it, man, but I ain't got that type of time. I'm ready to get this thing out. So get that cleaned up and we gonna throw this back in. All right, guys. Getting ready to stick this thing back in now. first video you're seeing of me getting this ramage back in, in here this is not the first video and I'm gonna link you to another video of what I did you can you can find it by clicking right here 